it's crazy fan girl shy. I hope you guys are having an amazing day, sir. Today we're watching the ninth episode of The Last of Us. Look for the light. It's a nice bookend to the beginning where it's like when you're lost in darkness, look for the light. Mm-hmm. We all see it now. Um, but oh. Dude, I am, uh, I'm very nervous, but also emotionally pumped for this one. It's just, oh, it's, yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> and just, yeah, this ending. <laughs> and so we are here with the last episode of the season. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into this. So remember to please, bleh, bleh. so please remember to like, subscribe and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, movies and video games. So let's just jump straight into it, guys. Ugh. <gasps> oh, I forgot! Oh, my baby girl! This is my baby girl. This, this woman, oh my god. This absolute f powerhouse is Ashley Johnson, and she is the original Ellie. Oh, look at her! I'm so proud of her. Oh, what the f- Dude, I just, this looks so much like the, the game in part two. Why? Why? Oh god. Oh god. Oh my god. Pick up the knife, pick up the knife! Oh! Grab the knife, grab the knife, grab the knife, grab the knife! Oh my god! I think she bit the side of his stomach, oh my god. Oh, the thing was coming out of his mouth as well. Blech. Oh god, she was pushing so hard, she pushed that baby out! Oh, the little one. <laughs> oh, the poor baby. Oh. Oh. God. What a beautiful opening. Oh, singing. Uh oh. Is it like infected? And then she's like, oh, she's singing. Oh, that's terrifying. Oh, God. Oh my god. Oh. How long have we known each other? Oh, the meaning of that. It's huge. I can't kill you. No, please. Marlena! Just put her out of her misery, please. Oh, beautiful. Listen there. Beef Peroni, Chef Boyardee. Oh, cool. Oh, bless. Yeah, she, like I said, completely changes from, like, the last season that we were in. Last season meaning winter phase. But got me thinking, maybe I should find one. I haven't played it forever. <laughs> in fact, I was thinking maybe I could teach you. I bet you. Oh. oh, yeah. She's so quiet. <laughs> and I don't like it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, fine. Guess you kind of seem extra quiet today. So. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. Fine. oh. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Yep, just like in the game. Oh, my favorite part. Damn, that's great CGI. <laughs> oh, look at the way Joel's watching. And she's smiling. Oh, my loves. Is it everything you hoped for? <laughs> Got its ups and downs. Can't deny that for you. She didn't know that. What do you mean? What else are we supposed to do? Nothing. We just go back to Tommy's. We forget about the whole damn thing. Oof. Oh, this part, oh my god, this part just reminds me so much of the game. So what was wrong with you? It's for this. Not the guy who shot me this. What? 
It was me. I was the guy who shot and missed. I can't remember if they did this in the game, but I'm intrigued to listen. Sarah died. And I couldn't see the point anymore. Simple as that. I could have been more ready. Oh my god. I got to pull the trigger out. I flinched. Still don't know why. This I don't know why you're telling me all this. So time heals all wounds, I guess. It wasn't time to do it. Oh! <gasps> <laughs> These two. Yeah. Oh, dude. What a moment. What did the green grape say to the purple grape? <laughs> Breathe, you idiot. Those are three out of ten. <laughs> oh my god! No! Oh no. <gasps> okay. I was thinking they wouldn't make them go through a flooding whole tunnel. Oh. Hey, Marlene. Just take me to her. I can't. She's being prepped for surgery. He thinks that the cordyceps in Ellie has grown with her since birth. What? It makes normal cordyceps think that she's cordyceps. It's why she's immune. Oh, my God. Cordyceps grows inside the brain. Oh my god, the way that he said that. Any fear, there won't be any pain. No, you take me to her, you take me to her right now! Oh, oh my god! That sounded like Joel freaking hell, dude. Please, you don't understand. I do. I was there when she was born, Joel. I have no other choice. You sure about that, girl? I said, keep walking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. oh my god oh my god oh my god I won't let you take her Okay. <laughs> oh my god, is that yes. Laura? She the girl on the right. She's in the game. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, oh my god, Joe. Because she lives in a broken world that you could have saved. Maybe. But it isn't for you to decide. Or you. Joel knows that. And you know it. Even after what you've done, you can still find a way. <sighs> Joel. Oh. Oh! The drugs are still wearing off. <laughs> so drugs. <laughs> The doctors, they couldn't make any of it work. They've actually seen Are people hurt? Yes. Are they okay? I'm sorry. Jesus. Just come after her. Ooh, ooh. Ah, what a beautiful shot. That's stunning. City, you asked me about the first time I killed someone. Her name was Riley. She was the first to die. And then it was Tess. And then Sam. That's not on you. I know. It... Look, sometimes things don't work out the way we. But if you just keep going. You find something new to fight for. And maybe that's I not what you want. Me. I mean that everything you said about the fireflies is true. I swear. 
without hesitation. Okay. <laughs> Holy! <laughs> and that had me feeling the exact same way I felt when we finished the game. I feel like this is going to, for the TV audience, it's definitely going to cause a bit of mayhem because now it's their turn to realize what we went through when we played the game. Um, let's talk about this episode and then I'll give my overall feelings about the whole season. What an episode, a finale. Opening with the birth of Ellie was so beautiful, especially from the original Ellie. She's just... She was fantastic. She was such a standout. Ashley Johnson, like, is a powerhouse. As I've said before, she's just ferocious. She's This is why she was Ellie, the original Ellie. She was perfect. And then the whole thing with Marlene, too, it's, she's also a bookend. So in the first episode, and then obviously at the beginning, the very beginning of the story with Ellie at her birth to the end. And she was fantastic. I love that they got the original Marlene to come back and be like, hey, you want to do the role again? <laughs> Just, I love that she did that. She's so amazing and she's so good. So, oh, this is a lot to unpack. So, in terms of like the the beginning of the episode before the ending and stuff is so tender and so heartbreaking. Like you can see how much Joel loves this girl. Um, you know, like this whole time I think like he was like, yeah, nah, like he, I don't see her as a daughter. I don't see her as anything close. But I think the minute last episode, like, cause that's another thing. I didn't talk about that last episode. Joel didn't basically did come in and stop Ellie from carving that man's face apart, David's face off in the, TV show? They didn't. They let her do it. She kept going and Violent Heart, sort of like what David said, kept going, kept going, kept going and stopped. Uh, she let that all out. Female rage also, like, love the representation. Actually well done. And then obviously coming out and Joel like getting her in his arms and then being like, not knowing what she actually went through because in the game, again, he you get the gist. It's like, he tried to, he tried to, and obviously, you know, first thing that comes to mind is, mm. um, but then in this, she wasn't even able to say anything. She was just stuttering and bless her, she broke down. So he doesn't even know, like, obviously he's thinking of all the worst possibilities, but at the same time, he doesn't know what happened. He's just sort of, he ca he was too late to sort of stop her or save her. And just, yeah, it's, it's a lot more impactful, I think, with the show, and just, it, it, it stuck with me for so long, too. Anyway, going, coming back to this again, so with Joel, was so tender with Ellie, just, like, very careful, and you can see how absent-minded she is. I don't think we even talked about the whole thing with him shooting the gun in the game, because that shocked me, because I was like, I don't think we've ever heard of this story, unless I'm wrong, and I just haven't, pl I haven't played the game in so long. And so just seeing the way that Joel like opens up to Ellie in that way and saying like I tried to you know commit suicide but I I pulled out at this last second and it was me I missed the shot and I screwed up my hearing and it's just like oh my god like it's so heartbreaking and then oh the the way that Pedro delivered the line was like he said, um, what was it? Yeah, like, Ellie's like, time heals all wounds. And he's like, it wasn't time that did it. And just him in tears looking at her and then her in tears looking at him. It's just like, oh shit. And then they, I think in that moment, they both realize like, oh shit. Yeah, we love each other a lot. We're just not going to say it. And it's just like, oh, my heart. Just that, the, and that's how you show and don't tell. It's like, that's the way you do it, people. It's just so well done. And so I am going to go into sort of an in-depth like analysis in this part because even when I played the game, I remember just thinking about this so much because like, mm, like it's so deep. So the whole thing with the hospital, it's a massive like debate on the internet about like what's right and what's wrong. And that's the thing. Nothing is right about this situation. I mean, we're in a bloody apocalypse, first of all, <laughs> but also honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I've, I always thought this from the beginning, even as uncomfortable as it makes me feel, I would do the exact same thing if I was Joel. I, yeah, like, I, mm, I get it, and this is the beautiful thing about this game, or like this show, is like, mm, it makes you feel guilty about it, but also you're like, mm, I would do the same thing. 
I would do the same thing if it was like my mum, my sister, or even like someone who I see as a mother, as a father, as a sister, or whoever, or a daughter, whatever. If I saw them that way, I cared about them, and I found out that they were going to die, I would probably do the same thing. And I wouldn't care about the consequences. Now, I'm not going to go too much into the consequences because I feel like we would be treading into dark waters there. So I'm not going to talk about that yet. When season two drops, I will talk about that. Again, like, whew, this is going to be such a big debate. But also, it's like, there's the other part, which is, which is Ellie's part. It's like, mm, I, I totally get where she is with that awkward thing and her asking, like, tell me the truth. Because if it was me... And also because I get where she's coming from. And uh, we are sort of treading into season two, like game two, like Last of Us part two, like spoilers. So if you're not here for that, skip this part. I'll put like a warning in it just in case. But basically, like we do see later on, obviously Ellie finding so much purpose for the fact that she, co she could possibly be the cure. And so if I was in her position and if I had this mark on my arm or like the bite on my arm thinking I had the cure... I would definitely also be in her position thinking like, what if he took that away from me? What if he took that choice away from me? Um, and it, what, he's not telling the truth. Like, I definitely would be in her position and questioning Joel. Because, as, you know, like, even she, she does see him as a father. We definitely see that. But also there's that thing about identity, which is like your own self, your own purpose, your own morale. And that's where she's coming from. She's like, this is my purpose. This is what I believe in. This is my chance for me. This is my chance to be, I guess, special in a way. This is the thing. Like, she thinks, like, this makes her special. She's been told this whole time. You're special. You're special. And basically not a narcissistic way or anything. But it's more like you're special. You're meant for this. Like, this is your purpose. And so she thinks that. She believes that. And now she's worried that it's being taken away from her. That choice. And just... Mm. It's delicious. It's so such good writing, but also it's like, mm, like it's why do you make me think these things and make me feel these things? I just want them to live happily ever after. Mm, it's oh, it's so good. Like I love the show, and yeah, we might as well get into the whole season review now. Obviously, you guys know that I had massive expectations for this show. It was big. Like this is one of my favorite games ever. They did it. They. This is honestly, again, one of the best video game adaptions ever. Beautifully respects the original, but also brings in new flavor and new, just everything. Like there's lots of parts that are new, which I love, and it's all in sort of like how should I say it? Bring in something that they believe would be faithful to the story. Like I know a lot of people have a lot of hate between of uh, against the LGBT representation in this show and the episodes that we had because screw everyone who said that those were filler episodes because they those were not filler episodes i'm going to use episode three as an example bill and frank i love that because it was a window into a life that we had never seen before and it was showing a corner of the last of us world that we wouldn't we would never have been able to have had in the game which is why i love tv so much because it shows it, it allows you to see different points of views which is like for example andor did so beautifully like you'd see the all the different perspectives but it's all living in this one world being affected by the different like sort of like troubles in the world i think a lot of people have opinions about how the infected wasn't a big deal in the show um i'm not fussed about that honestly I will say because with the game, that is a part of the game because you must fight the infected to survive. You must fight the infected because that's a part of the game. That's the part where you have to get through to get to the next cutscene. Now, I would have liked a little bit more infected like in some areas, but I, again, that's not a big deal in my mind. For some people it is, which is fair enough. But for me personally, I, I think it's fine. Now, let's touch upon like our leading actors because I've already spoken about like obviously every other performance but we're gonna just focus on Pedro and Bella for this. Now let's start with Pedro <laughs> because uh like when we first got the show announced every no offense white male came into my brain of who would play Joel and this is because knowing the fandom that how toxic they can be and they were <laughs> I thought that they would play into sort of what they wanted and give them what they wanted which was a white male who you know was very much like Joel in the game. So, 
I did think of Pedro when they announced the auditions and everything, and I was like, oh yeah, maybe, but I was like, oh no, wait, the fandom won't like it. But then, when he was announced, I was actually so surprised, the fact that he got chosen, but also because of the fact of how, obviously there was a negative response in terms of some people, but also there was such a big positive reaction to it that I was like, oh my god, what? But okay. <laughs> and I was so happy. I love just how vulnerable he was as Joel, because again, this is a very different iteration from the game. Still, like, the, the vulnerability he had, but also that tough exterior he had at the beginning and then he softened up and it was so heartbreaking and also again he really stood out whenever we went to Jackson he that again that scene of him breaking down and talking about how much he cares for Ellie and just how again like how Sarah's death affected him and still affects him and he, how he believes that he'll let her down and just oh just like that, that has to be his Emmy nomination. Please, for the love of God, if he does not get nominated, I will actually riot. <laughs> now, talking about Bella, they, uh, th I was so afraid because the criticism around women in this game and game franchise is, I'll be frank, it's disgusting because they try to sexualize a lot of the female characters that are just strong women. Like, to that point and just they try and just oh I will just leave it at that and so I was so scared for Bella and I was like like not even afraid about her performance I was afraid of like the fandom because it can be so toxic but they have taken it all in their stride like a boss that they are and oh just thank you Bella for being unapologetically you because that is Ellie you as Bella and even as Ellie like you were phenomenal like thank you so much for <laughs> bringing her to life just again was an absolute powerhouse in every single episode proved every single person wrong and so again I am I will defend Bella to the end of my days because they were perfect as Ellie and if you guys come for her in part two when season two drops, I'm gonna be there to defend them first. <laughs> but hmm, I could go about this forever, but I will just say Bella and Pedro have really done such a beautiful job and just they deserve all the praise, all the awards. So thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to the last episode of season one of The Last of Us. Uh, look for the light. I know I probably had some con... I, I don't even know if it was a big deal, but you know, if you guys have any opinions, please leave it below. I'd like to have a conversation about it because it's like so good. This season was amazing and just, yeah. Last of Us is a great thing to talk about, but also it's a dangerous thing to talk about. So, you know, who, who knows? Let's go for it. But yeah, I'm gonna leave it here, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Um, and thank you guys so much for the incredible support on this series. It's been amazing. So, yep. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace to go out. Woo!